Um, with 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 the uh, a great performance by your quarterback today, would you say he, Bryce Young kind of with the voting on Monday locked up the Heisman? What do you think about that so far? He should win the Heisman. It's a, like if you watch the game, if you've been watching the whole season, ain't nobody else coming close to him. He should win it. The voters could see that. Everybody could see that. Bryce should be Heisman this year. Follow up questions. I got another one. If, you know, Go mom. Ahead, Ryan. All right, uh, defensive side, how proud are your guys uh, responding after a, an early, you know, early trailing in the game, kind of just staying in the game the whole time, and then obviously with battle at the end with the pick six? Can you repeat that, Ryan? Can you just talk about the defense and, and obviously at the end battle with the pick six, kind of sealing the game for you guys? You know, the whole week was, all we kept here was Georgia defense, Georgia defense. Nobody was giving Alabama credit for how, we play on defense. You know, we sometimes we have our busts and we have our mental errors, but it's never been a time that we don't go out there and we don't play fast and we don't play physical. And we fly around, we hit people. And enough people are not talking about that. And I feel like so far the defense, we've been coming together. We've been on the same page and we've been playing tough. We've been playing hard and we've been doing a great job on defense. And I mean, Jordan Battle, he executed exceptionally well. I think the defense executed exceptionally well. You know, like I said, we had our little ups and downs here and there, but we all came together. We've been playing great ball on defense. Bennett. Will, how impressed were you with the offensive line coming off of a rough week last week just to contain as good as Georgia's defensive front is? Yeah, like I said, we all week long, we had a chip on our shoulder. Every day on good on good, we was going back and forth because all we was hearing was Daryl Line is nasty and mean. All we kept hearing was they have a, the best defensive front in, you know, in the country and stuff like this. And so good on good periods, it was iron shop and iron. You're gonna see the best every day in practice. And we all we both had a chip on our shoulder. And I'm so proud of those guys. I don't think I don't think they gave up a sack tonight, did they? They didn't give up any sacks tonight. I mean, those guys did exceptionally well. That's a great front they went against, and they executed very well. Was there anything that they said during those good on good in, in practice that, that sort of indicated that chip on their shoulder or any moments during practice throughout the week that sort of gave you that indication? It was just, I'm going to get you better, you're going to get me better, and that's how we're going to approach it. Ryan? Will, obviously an emotional game and a, a convincing win for you guys beating the number one team in the country. Are you guys clicking at the right time and do you feel like you deserve that number one next to your name? Oh, we most definitely do. I mean, we're not, we're not a perfect team. Don't get us wrong. We've had our ups and downs this whole season. But we're starting to rally together. We're starting to build that team chemistry. We're trying to come together and we're trying to see that football is the most important thing. And, you know, we've been executing very well. You know, meetings, you know, the facility, everything. Everybody's been locked in in meetings at practice. Everybody knows what's at state at this point. And I think that's why everybody's mindset is starting to change and shift. So I think we have been playing some of our best ball right now. It's not our complete football that we want to be at yet, but we have been doing a good job. Final questions. Bennett. What was the, the locker room like after this one? What was uh, Coach Saban's sort of message to you guys? He was a little extra fired up this week, I feel like. Yeah, he was. You know, the locker room was wild. You know, we came in, we was the underdogs. People saying we was going to get whipped, whooped, blew out, all the other stuff. Like, we Alabama, man. Like, hey, we ain't no D3 team. We ain't no none of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we come to play and we practice hard just like they come to play and practice hard. And, you know, I'm not disrespecting Georgia. Georgia has a great football team. But, you know, sometimes we we, we work hard, too, for what we want. I like I, I just don't get sometimes I feel like people think we we do stuff on purpose. Or it's, a, it's never a day that offense or defense, we don't go out there. You know, we don't try to execute and we don't play hard and we give it all I got. We give it all I got every play we, we do on both sides of the ball. So it's never a time where one person is like, oh, I don't feel like, it's never that. We try to execute, but things happen. So we're just gonna keep rolling off of that. Thank you. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Please go ahead and raise your hands for questions for Slay Bolden. Yeah. So y'all. Yeah. We'll start with Ryan, go ahead, Ryan. <laughs> Hey Slade, um, you know, Will Anderson just walked down and said, give Bryce the Heisman after that performance. What did you think about that performance and what did you see today out of your quarterback? Just Bryce Young. That's who I saw. The person that I've always known he would be. And he, he did what we all expected him to be. And that was Bryce Young. And y'all saw it. That's Bryce Young. Follow up questions. Go ahead, Bennett. Hey, Slade, how crucial was the offensive line's performance today, just especially coming off of a tough week and playing against Georgia's defensive front? How, how impressed were you with them? Oh, man, I mean, 
you know, we trust those guys. We love them. We trust them no matter what. And, you know, they've been through adversity. Uh, it, they've had some tough, tough times, tough games. And, you know, I couldn't be more proud of them and the way they played because without them, we, we can't operate. And so everything starts with them. And I'm just very thankful and proud of them. Brian? The running game, there were some questions going into this one. Uh, what does it say about Brian Robinson just sticking through that injury and, 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 and keeping the defense honest for Georgia? Uh, just uh, one word, man, he's a warrior. He's, uh, he's fought like that all year, uh, been banged up some, and he's just bounced back and, you know, just rehab right, got back, you know, practice, do whatever he's had to do to make sure he was ready for this game. And I'm just happy and proud of him that the way he played and was able to do what he do, and he was able to do what we know what he can do. Follow-up questions? Go ahead, Bennett. Yeah, well, when Mechie got hurt, I, how much – was there any sort of moment with, with the receivers sort of trying to come together and, and step up for him? Well, you know, as, as much as I hated and we all hated Mechie, you know, uh, getting hurt like that. We love him. He's our brother. Um, we always preach next man up because you just never know what circumstance can happen and what adversity can strike. And that's what happened. So next man up. That's how we practice. That's how we play. That's how we, you know, we just get ready. And that's what we did. And God stepped up when we needed, we needed him to. And thankfully it uh, worked out. Did y'all get a chance to talk to him at all after the game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, you know, he's smiling ear to ear. You know, we're all happy for each other because we just – we know the work that we've put in together as a unit, and no one understands that. And by doing that, we, that's why we're just so close and so thankful and proud of each other. Final questions. Hey, thanks, Lane. Thank you all. You have a blessed night Thanks. and roll tide. We'll have at least one more player. Go ahead and raise your hands for questions for DeMarco. Go ahead, Bennett. Hey, DeMarco, uh, what did you see on your interception? Can you sort of take me through that play? Um, it was kind of a play action pass, and uh, I saw the tight end coming across. Uh, I saw Will, he had good pressure on the quarterback. I knew he had to deliver the ball soon. And when the ball was in the air, I feel like it's mine every time. So it was a great job by Will. And uh, I just made a good play on the ball. Ryan. Yeah, just wanted to talk about the quarterback play of Rice Young. Uh, what did you think about it today? And, and Will Anderson walked off saying, give that man the Heisman. What do you think about that? <laughs> if, you don't des if he doesn't deserve it after this game, I'm not sure. Uh, Bryce is Bryce here. We see it every day in practice. It wasn't a surprise to us. I'm not sure if it was a surprise to you guys out there, but you know, Bryce is a great player. Uh, he approaches every day with the hard hat mentality, you know, to get the team better. Uh, he never has his head down. He never, it never feels like he's feeling pressure on himself. He's always cool. So, I mean, Bryce is the Heisman winner to me, but that's all I have to say about that. He's a great player, great competitor. Follow-up questions? Go ahead, Bennett. Yeah, uh, on uh, Jordan's pick six, just what, what was sort of the, the celebration, the reaction like with that? At, at that point, it sort of was putting the game close to out of reach. Um, Jordan interception, uh, you know, he's a leader for this defense. He's a leader on the team. And uh, I always told him in big time play, in big time games, big time players make big time plays. And, you know, Jordan know we needed to play and he made the play and he did a great job finishing in the end zone. How much did you guys sort of utilize the chip on your shoulder this week? I know that the coach Saban was a little extra fired up just about being an underdog and all that. Um, I know to the outside world we were underdog, but you know to the guys in this locker room, uh, the guys and coaches in this program, uh, we never feel like we never feel like the underdog. We never feel like you know we're approaching the game expecting to lose. We come out every game expecting to go one and zero. So you know we just took that you know as a sign of disrespect. Uh, for everyone who doubted us, everyone who doubted his defense, everyone who doubted his offense. And um, we came out to make a statement today. Final questions for DeMarco. Go ahead, Bennett. 
Yeah, I'll go with one more. Ed, the offensive line, I feel like, got a lot of doubt, too, just sort of after a rough week last week. How impressed were you by them and, and just what they were able to do against as good of a defensive front as Georgia has? Uh, Georgia had a great defensive front. You know, they have a great defense. Uh, I was extremely proud of our O-line. You know, I saw, you know, how they approached this week in practice, uh, approach every day, you know, with the hard hat mentality as, a, you know, you know, at the end of the day, the game has to be played. You know, the media can't play the game for you. You know, the game has to be played. And the O-line, they did a great job today of protecting Bryce, you know, creating holes for the runners. And it was a great team win today. Thank you, DeMarcus.